going to give people a chance to come on so that we can uh, talk today. Uh, my name is Coach Rhonda. For those who do not know me, I own a business called RSB Coaching, a mentoring, training, and coaching business where we help people um, walk in dominion, power, and authority that God has given to them as well as heal from past wounds. And so as people are coming on, hey Lisa, thank you so much for joining. Um, as people are going, coming on, uh, just so you know, I am live in my personal Facebook page as well as my um, business page. And so what I'm doing or the goal of what I'm doing now is just transitioning everything from my business, uh, from my personal page to my business page. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I will be on live here, hey, uh, on my personal page. However, um, everything, like I said before, is going to start transitioning over to my business page. Hey, Deanna. Hey, Katina. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm just giving people a chance to come on. Now, for those who are on, and this is you guys, for those who are on um, this page, this is my personal page. Um, I, my, I got two phones, right? And both of, one of my phones here is not working properly. So... If this phone goes out, jump onto my business page so that you can finish hearing the rest of this um, scope uh, or this uh, live. We're going to be talking about a word that was released from my pastor. I'm not going to talk about the whole word. You can go to her website. But I really encourage you, just in case this phone goes out, um, to go on to my business page. If you have not liked my page yet, please make sure you do so. Because again, everything is going to be trans uh, transitioned over to my business page. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I'm excited. Y'all, something big is happening. So, my pastor, Dr. Faith Wakoma, uh, released a word on October 31st concerning uh, something big that God is doing in the spirit realm, things that are going to be released. And so, we're going to talk about that today. If you want to read the entire prophecy because it is kind of long, um, I will post her link to her website so that you can see it, so that you can read the whole thing because I believe and I'm really learning that it is so important to steward words that are given to you, right? By the Holy Spirit. Because if you don't steward the words, then you are not going to be, you're not going to know when you see the manifestation of what was said. Um, so uh, today, so something big is happening. Over the past couple of days, I'm so excited. We have been um, in our 21-day fast at my church for families, marriages, and singles, right? And this fast has been huge. Um, we hit, and this is like a manifestation of the big. Uh, so usually we have about a thousand people. However, this year the fast was so big and you saw me posting on my personal page that we had to transition to another, um, uh, increase our limit on our phone line. Uh, first we had about 1200. It almost broke the line and so they had to increase the limit for 5,000 people and the limit keeps growing um, another thing that she talked about was that was a sign of the big thing that God is doing now is just like with Popeye's Popeye's uh, chicken was not uh, prepared for the influx or the big thing that happened with the chicken sandwiches, right? So, you know, they did this thing where it went viral and these chicken sandwiches um, people were like in line and they didn't have the ability to um, handle the capacity of what was happening and so um, my pastor did one they released a word and two the other day they did a live on capacity and on um, just how to prepare for the big thing and like I said I'll give you the link to that but today we're gonna talk about that big thing from another angle because I really believe that the Lord wants to um, shift all of us into a new place right and, sh and meaning shifting us into a new place reveal and release those promises that we prayed for give us the things that we have been asking for, um, really things, even in my prayer time, I've been seeing where the Lord is going into family bloodlines and just um, breaking generational things to reset the line back to Adam so that uh, we can really begin to reap the seeds, the benefits of the things that the Lord has uh, been hiding in our bloodline, even prayers that have been prayed uh, from our, from people that came before us, right? And so, because, hey, Kanji, thank you for joining. So, because 
because this is happening, um, there is a responsibility on our part that we have to do in order for these things to be released. Um, and that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Even in healing, people do not take their healing and their wholeness seriously the, a lot of times. Um, healing, the lack thereof, and unforgiveness will hinder you from receiving from the Lord. It is so important that we begin that process of healing and breakthrough. But even in that... God has given us dominion, power, and authority to advance the kingdom in the earth, right? And so in order for us to do that, we have to know what he has given to us. We have to know um, just the weapons, the dominion. What is dominion? What is authority? What is power? When we don't know these things, we will settle for stuff that is beyond our kingship. And what I mean by that is we've been called to advance the kingdom. God has given us weapons. He's given us wisdom. He's given us power, dominion, authority uh, through the blood of Jesus to be able to advance the kingdom. And advancing the kingdom also includes your gifts that you have. He's given us gifts. He's given us talents. He's given us things that he has put in our hands and he has put in our bloodline where it is our responsibility to begin to nurture, to grow, and to shape these things with his guidance so that we can begin to advance. There are a lot of people that have been praying. I've heard like the millionaire status, which I promise you is going to happen. See, that's the thing. Um, Millionaire status is going to happen for a lot of people, uh, but you got to prepare for the big thing. I feel like this stuff is coming now. Uh, you got to prepare for um, just the prayers. If you've been seeking the Lord for um, how to grow your business, seeking the Lord for a, what should I do? What is my purpose? How should I walk in my ministry? Or how should I, uh, even at your job, you've been praying for a promotion. What needs to happen in order for you to get this promotion, right? But also within that thing, a part of the preparation is really getting an understanding of who you are as a believer, getting an understanding and a foundation of what God has given to you versus what he, um, uh, what he's given to you for you to utilize as a weapon or for you to utilize to advance in your sphere of influence and then what is required that you have to break through in order for you to get to that place and so I'm going to explain what I'm talking about with that so we have weapons that God has given to us right um we you can see it in Ephesians 6 10 uh uh, 6, 10 through 18. We have the wet, uh, our spiritual armor, right? That we put on, but it goes so much farther than that. We have the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, where a lot of times when we don't even understand the weight of the blood of Jesus, we don't appropriate it properly. And so we will be asking God to give us things. The Lord, will you do this? Or Lord, I need for you to do this. When God said, listen, I've already given it to you. I've given you my blood. I've given you the authority. I've given you dominion. If you're struggling with an issue with your son, getting into your that place of prayer or, or with your children, I don't even know why I said son, but if you're struggling in an area, uh, in any area, right, or you're feeling some kind of resistance, you have been given dominion, power, and authority with the blood of Jesus to appropriate that thing, to put it on a situation, not just saying, oh, I plead the blood, but really to walk and have strategies and how to maneuver in difficult situations so that you are not hit or side uh, swipe by attacks of the enemy, but you literally can see those things come and appropriate the blood and not miss a step. And so that's where God is bringing us to now, from now on up until I think the next few years, He's bringing us into a place where we know who we are as believers. We know what he has given to us. We know how to maneuver and operate according to what he's given to us, these keys to the kingdom, so that we can really begin to see victories in our lives. And there has been this disconnect that I really sense strongly in the body and just in people in general of us saying one thing, but this thing not connecting with our hearts because we have not seen it manifest. And now we're in a place where the manifestation of the thing is now. That's the big thing. So whatever that thing is that you've been praying for and you've been seeking the Lord for, that's the big thing that's going to be released. But even in that, 
that there has to be a place and a level of healing that must take place. There has to be a level of forgiveness that has to be uh, take place. There, ha there are certain things within your bloodline that is a hindrance. Um, even some generational bitterness. I've really been dealing with and hearing that along the way over the past couple of weeks. Dealing with generational bitterness. Dealing with all of these things that can be a hindrance to you receiving what God has called you to receive. And so we're in a time and in a place. Yeah, we're in a time and in a place now where God is not satisfied with you not walking in victory. He's not satisfied with you not being um, exactly who he called you to be. He's not satisfied and okay with the enemy beating you down over the head and you looking like, where am I supposed to go? And reaching out to all of these outside things, whether it be um, yoga or, or all of these outside new age things, especially as believers, to receive what he has already placed in your hands. A lot of us are looking for peace and looking for identity. We're looking for who we are and purpose and things outside of the creator, the one who created us. Not the creator, not the universe, but the creator of heaven and earth who created the universe and everything in it. And so when we are looking in the wrong place, we will not receive the thing that is void in us because we're not connecting to the one who gave it to us. And so God is in a place where he's saying, listen, I need for you to come to me. Let me heal you. You looking for healing? You're not going to find healing in a new age practice. You're not going to find healing praying to your ancestors. You're not going to find healing and, and power or authority praying to any God other than the only true and living God, and that's through Jesus Christ, right? The only way to the Father, and I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not going to go into <laughs> some of my resources, but the, the true and living God praying to your ancestors, you're not going to get it. So if you're looking for healing and if you're looking for the things... Um, really that your soul longs for, you have to begin to shift. And the problem I see with so many people, um, whether you have grown up in denominations or whether you have just grown up in this environment where God has no power, that is not truth. Dominion, power, and authority is not just something that's said because it sounds good in the body. Dominion, power, and authority is literally your legal right and your birthright as a kingdom citizen. When you are a believer in Jesus Christ, when you are a believer, you are adopted and you are a son. So you have been adopted into the kingdom of God's dear son. What that says is your daddy is a king. And so if your daddy is a king, that means he rules, he reigns, and he sits on the throne. And he has given you precious promises. He has given you gifts. He has given you things that he says, hey, these are yours. I'm putting them in your hand. You have the right to rule in this sphere, in this place. And so God has given us specific spheres of influence that he has called us into to advance the kingdom. When we are not aware of these things, we will sit like a baby bird waiting to be fed instead of us taking hold and grabbing those things and plowing forward, plowing forward in prayer, plowing forward even in our thinking. There are a lot of us that's on this line who struggle in our mind. We struggle with depression because the world has told you that um, you don't have any control over it. And I'm not saying don't get medication because what I even tell my clients is if you are, if you are struggling, get medication. I'm not against it. But what I'm saying is even with the medication, you have to learn to fight. There are places in our bloodline where sin where uh, has separated us from our daddy where um, just out and people don't want to talk about sin people don't want to talk about holiness because it's taught from a place where it's unobtainable and that is not truth when we serve God when God when we accept him into our heart as our father he gives us everything as it pertains to life and godliness and that's in second Peter everything that it that pertains to life and godliness and so because of this he does not call us or cause us to walk in an area by ourselves without any assistance we have literally when we become believers in Jesus Christ we have literally been um uh engrafted into a new family a family if you don't have one and you were rejected or you didn't grow up in a household where you had um brothers siblings 
friends, whatever, if your mama and daddy were crazy, when you accept Jesus, you have come and been adopted into a family. You have a mother, father, brothers, sisters in Christ. You have a daddy. You have, God is your father. Uh, Jesus is your brother. The Holy Spirit is your lead and is your guide. And so when you step into the kingdom, you are a son. You have a birthright. You have generational blessings. We're not always talking about just generational curses because when Jesus died on the cross, he died and everything was nailed to the tree. Y'all, I'm going into my teaching. However, <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about it in a little bit. But when he died on the cross, he gave you these things through the blood and we got to learn how to appropriate the blood of Jesus so that we are not living a life of weak Christianity. God, the giver of life, the creator of heaven and earth, God who sits on the throne, who is high and lifted up, is not weak. Because we do not understand who he is, and because we do not understand um, just what he has given to us, we live this life, and we live this mindset that prayer works sometimes for some people. It is not true. We live this mindset, and we live in this life where we believe God will give some promises to some, but because I've done too bad, or because I've struggled so much, he won't give it to me. That is not truth, and that is not God. And we are coming into a place that when this big thing happens, we have to be solid in our identity. Because the thing about it is, people that have prayed for and prepared for different things, you prepare for your ministry, you prepare for the future, even in your emotions, you've been preparing and healing those broken places. When you begin to get what you need, get what God has um, has promised to you, you still, even in that, that's not where it ends. Now you have to work on staying committed to the Lord. Now you have to work on staying committed to the to the promise. Now you have to work on really that self-control that um just because I have this thing in front of me, it doesn't mean that I can just do whatever. Just because it's good, uh, everything that is not bad doesn't mean that you have to do it, right? And so you're still working and you're still getting into that place where you have to learn how to handle the success piece. The thing about it is when you don't know who you are as a believer, when you do not know who God is, when you do not have a holy um, understanding, a clear understanding of what and who God says you are, you will struggle. And so because of this, God has given us so many things for us to be successful and walk in victory in our life. And I'm so excited to let you guys know that I have a free webinar. It is 100% free. The Lord laid it on my heart. I've worked um, on this thing because I really feel like there's a foundation that has to be laid. God is not weak and he is not sad. He's not sulky. He is a God of authority and power. And he has given us these very things. Even when Jesus died and he rose, he said uh, the works that he, he does, we will do and greater works. So we are in a season and a, 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 I heard dispensation. So we are in a place of greater works. So in that we are required and we have everything we need to do that. And so with that, like I said, I have a course. It's completely free. It's a webinar that I'm doing. It's going to be next um, Thursday. You can go to my website, but it's going to be next Thursday. It's a free webinar, and it's called Dominion, Authority, and the Blood of Jesus. Learning who you are in your sphere of influence. So learning who God is. That's what it's all about. I want you guys to go to my website and register for this free webinar. It is free. It don't cost you nothing. Okay, but I feel like because of this big thing that's coming, we have to prepare. And in that, we have to know our identity. We have to know that we are sons. We have to know and heal from things that the enemy has tried to bring against us to make us second guess who we are in Christ Jesus. So I need you guys to go to my website and apply. Go ahead and um, sign up for this website. It's Dominion, Authority, and the Blood. So we're going to talk about what Dominion is. We're going to talk about authority. Authority and what authority is. How do you appropri appropriate this authority in the earth? And we're going to talk about the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus
Jesus is not just some song that the old folks used to sing. It will never lose its power. But what is the power in the blood that causes us to reign? That's what we're going to talk about. What is the power? What is this authority? What is this um, um, power in the blood of Jesus that causes demons to bow to the authority of Jesus? What is it in the blood of Jesus that when the blood is over the doorpost, the enemy cannot touch you? What is it about the blood of Jesus that causes your enemies to flee? That's what we're going to talk about in this webinar. So go to my website. It's completely free. It's um, The name of the website is Dominion, Authority, and the Blood. So we're going to be talking about the blood of Jesus. And you're understanding your position as a believer. You are not called to live beneath your kingdom birthright and your kingdom citizenship. And so I'm excited, guys. The big thing is happening. Like I told you guys before, my website is www.rondasbarnes.org. You can go to my um, business page and click on the website there. I have it also on my personal page. I'll update it in this video. But it is so important that we know our position because many of us are like God don't love me or he has forgotten. And it's really just a thing of because he's so fake. <sighs> I'm not going to go into it, but what I'm saying to you is God has not forgotten you. You're going to learn that in the webinar. God has not forgotten you. He loves you. He cares about you. You are on the forefront of his mind. And because of that, he loves you so much, he's going to give you what you need in order for you to prosper. So, yes, go to my website, www.rondasbarnes.org, O-R-G. And uh, sign up for the webinar. It's under free webinars on my website. So um, click on the link, sign up for the webinar, and let's get this thing started. I also have some extra stuff coming in the future. Uh, the Freedom Community. So um, I created the Freedom Community a few uh, months ago, right? And I was just praying and seeking the Lord because I know, uh, one, there is a huge need for healing. Just healing in people in general. Not even just in the body of Christ. It's a huge need for healing. People are searching for um, ways to cope with brokenness and ways to cope with uh, the places where they're broken and, and where they've been hurt and where they've experienced so much trauma. And that's not what God called us to do. He didn't call us to just cope with these things. He's called us to be healed. And so a part of what RSB Coaching does, a part of what my um, business is about is helping people heal from past wounds. And so that's one aspect of it. And then once you heal, then you start walking into dominion, authority and power. So whatever that sphere of influence is that God has called you to walk in. We're going to partner together through services that I have and we're going to help you walk so that you can change the world. It's not about one person just changing the world. It's about your pastors. It's about you. It's about your children. It's about your lineage. Being able to grab hold of those seeds that have been planted and change the world. And so that's what RSV Coaching is all about. So please go to my website. Oh, with the Freedom Community. We're going to focus more now so I've been doing lives on my personal page and again I'm transitioning things to my business page and to my Facebook groups so I really suggest that if you want to continue to get the training and the lives that you join the freedom community you can do that on my website as well if you have not and you'll also get um, uh, a free training that I did on creating healthy boundaries, um, understanding the need for boundaries, right? Understanding the benefits, excuse me, understanding the benefits of boundaries. So when you sign up for the freedom community, you'll automatically get that free training. Um, and it's full of all this good stuff. So if you're trying to figure out how you're supposed to, um, set boundaries so that you can walk in this dominion power and authority, you can get that training. It's 100% free. It's on my website. When you sign up for the freedom community, if you're already a part of the freedom community and you want the training, you can go on to the website as well and just, um, sign up for the freedom community and my um online and then get the training so the training will automatically be sent to you so uh yeah so visit my website www.rondasbarnes.org sign up for the free website dominion authority and the blood 
as well as the freedom community because like i told you the freedom community we're going to be doing i'm going to be doing my trainings in there um trainings freedom community get first dibs on whatever it is that i'm going to release just like this free webinar they had the opportunity to um sign up for it first so everything will go there first and then go to my public page so if you're interested sign up we're going to be talking about healing. We're going to be doing some inner healing in the freedom community. We're going to be dealing with um, just wounds and all that kind of stuff. Past wounds, um, hurt, bitterness, brokenness. Because my whole heart and desire and goal is that we be healed. 100 and uh, completely healed. And even with healing, when you begin to start dealing and healing, um, healing of spiritual issues will cause some, at times natural healing in your body. So we're going, we're going no holes barred for healing. And I'm talking about healing mind, body, and soul. Cause all of these things are connected because we are triune beings. We have three parts. We have a spirit, soul, and body. So, um, again, Go to my website, get this information because I want you guys um, to have access to it. But again, when the big thing happens, you have to prepare for it. And this is a part of my process of preparing. So I have to shift some things. So if you don't, you may not necessarily have access to me on my personal page. So join the Freedom Community um, and as well as join this free webinar. So thank you guys for watching. I will be back with you guys hopefully sometime soon. And join the website. I mean, join the fast. We're doing a 21-day prayer and fast for families, marriages, and singles. Uh, we are currently on day four of the fast. People are getting healed. They're receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Uh, today, we pray for men, um, just the, the reestablishment of manhood, uh, which is so key. So, please join this fast. The link is on my web, on my Facebook page. Um, so, you can search my Facebook page so that you can get the credentials. We pray every morning at 6 a.m. If you cannot make 6 a.m., I want you to, uh, you can always get the replay. Um, you can join our group. So all of this information is on my page. So I really need for you guys to get on it, okay? And uh, join this fast. Even if you can't fast, join the prayer. You can get the prayer in. It's so amazing. We're going to be praying for 21 days. And like I said, we're on day four. So thank you guys for joining. I look forward to seeing you really soon. Have an awesome day. And replay viewers, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.